How y'all doing? I'm Reginald Bullock here with Trey for Just Living Life, and this is our second yep. time recording. So thank you for rejoining us. And Trey, what do you have to say? I got a question. Like, should we call this episode two or episode one? I had a person as episode one because it was, you know, the pilot was the last time. So that's why I just wanted to make sure. You said two, but you know, they might have gotten confused. So I just want to make sure they understand. I cla- I was gonna classify as episode one. You got any problems with that? I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Now, the difference is though, suppose we edit it and break it into different sections. Mm. Like the first one we did was pretty long. It was pretty how good. many? How long was it? I think I had like 23 to 26 segments out of that. <laughs> yeah. So is each segment an episode? It's uh, like the overall thing would be an episode. Each one, each smaller piece, each smaller video would be a segment in itself. So that's what it'll be. But each overall video, like the long one, that hour long, two hour so long. E1, possibly, yeah. S1, E1, S2, yeah. E1, S3. So this is E2. This will be E. We'll make this one E1. Let's make this one E1. What was the last one? The pilot, E0. Okay. <laughs> This is us, you know, just living life here with Trey. And this is reality. And and the thing that we wanted to do was to have two people who are not necessarily putting things together in a static way that, you know, we rehearsed this for days and days and days. And now you're getting the show based on how we rehearsed it. No, you're getting authentic, real talk from real brothers who live real life because we just live. And we're sharing it with you. And what you just heard is an example of just how things come together. Yeah. And that's re- that's the reality of how things come together in life. So. Exactly. Exactly. That was a very ad hoc question. <laughs> it was a very high ad hoc question I gave you. But I jokingly say Jimmy Butler is Michael Jordan's son. Okay. So, I mean, you're just Jimmy Jeffrey Jordan right there. Now, you're in basketball. Yeah. They look, they so, look, is they it look. true that Michael Jordan's son is not oh, yeah, Mary? <laughs> They gonna get that. They gonna get that seventh ring. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Because it's so messed up. Why is it messed up that two people who love each other decide to get married? <laughs> That's not my messed up part. Listen, I'm. Why is it messed up? I, it's cool for y'all. I'm just saying. Y'all. Like Jordan, it, it's it's like to me. She saw she saw a young man grew up. You know what I'm saying? Like she was around when he was probably born, or it was like when he was young, like both five. And now oh, she's that much older than he is. Gotta be, gotta be, because she was married to Pippin, and they were teammates. Uh, so it's like when you think about it, I don't know. Yeah, they were. So that would be like she trying to marry you, essentially. Mm. Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at her because she doing what she she doing what she do. But like, maybe cool. they in love. I, I, again, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to throw shade on on their love. I I'm I'm not. I wish everybody the best in life. I don't know. It's just certain parents. Kind of certain, like that. certain I'm too parents. busy living my life to be. No, I hear you, that. but like you gotta, you gotta watch the Last Dance, and then well, see. I gotta watch well, the, last the reason why you get a little context is so what happened. Was, it was really a story about Jordan, okay. but like Scotty feels like you know what my story won't told. So now everybody loved Jordan, but he feel like he's not getting his just due. Okay. So now to feel like your second feel, you already called the Robin in the Batman to Robin duo. Mm-hmm. People don't like Robin. Robin's one of my favorite characters. And he turned into Nightwing. He becomes his own man. Shout out to you, Robin. But like, they don't look at Scottie Pippen that way. So now you're gonna be thought of as a joke because your 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 ex wife is marrying Jordan's youngest son. Like 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 uh, that's tough. That's tough. That's a little like you already behind. You already in the shadows of Jordan. So back to the mental piece, right? Because I am an executive leadership coach. And I coach leaders and at all levels. Mm-hmm. And so for him, it comes down to how he chooses to approach this. How he chooses to, do, I mean, it's heavy, it's hard, but you can choose for it not to be, right? Yeah. I was just having this conversation with somebody who controls your brain, you or other people. So the mass media is going to do what it does, right? His ex-wife going to do what she did, right? And and everybody else out there in the world are going to think what they think. Yeah. And to your point, if they think that he's robbing, all right. But he gets to choose who he is. Yeah. He gets to choose how he thinks. 
he gets to choose how he receives this information. Yeah. Because aside from basketball and, and all that goes with it, he may be something else. Right? I mean, yeah, he's much more than just a former. And, 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 and to that extent, that should be important as well. Mm-hmm. And whether everybody else believes it, knows it, sees it, it's, it's the only thing that matters is him. Yeah. If he believes it, knows it, and sees it. And he has the intestinal fortitude and the strength to know who he is, right? And based on his purpose in life, he's doing that to plug into my book, right? Becoming the best version of himself. Then what does any of this other stuff have to do with him being the best version of himself other than their potential distractions? I think he's had a problem with distractions before. I think you question sometimes Scotty's mental fortitude. Granted, six-time champion. You know what I'm saying? Like He, he has a well-decorated career. And at minimum, the second option on them championship runs. Like, let's not go ahead and – let's not slight this man. But he he, he does come off like he, he, I, so he took a contract year – or he took a contract one year where it's like it was – looking back hindsight, it was a stupid contract. He got paid far lower than what he should have. And I feel like you didn't bet on yourself. Yeah, he was injured too. But like that confidence factor, I think you've seen throughout Scottie Pippen's career is not as strong as you might think Jordan's is or Kobe's is or even Braun's for that matter. Like, I, 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 I think it's more than confidence, right? Because I think that, for instance, we don't know everybody's upbringing right. and their experience and the, the stuff that they had to go through that made them who they are. Right. <clears throat> Including their decision-making parameters. So when you talk about Jordan, I mean, I don't know how many lawyers in the entire NBA who are all rooting for him to be successful, so they're going to help him to make his decisions. Yeah. And, and, and you talked about Kobe and other folks, right? To that extent, everybody wasn't helping Scotty like they were helping other people. So he didn't have the resources Remember we were talking about resources? That's fair. He didn't have the same resources. He didn't have the same mentors. He didn't have the same, you know, folks that support other people supporting him. Right. So in, in essence, maybe he had to make these decisions for himself, you know? And so, yeah, he may have made a bad decision, but he made it based on how he is able to process the data and the information to understand the intelligence to make a decision. I don't think he probably wanted to make a stupid decision out the gate and be like hindsight 2020. Right. You know, I think he probably thought he was making a good decision for him, but it's based on his training and his knowledge mm-hmm. and the inputs he had as a businessman. I mean, yeah. the ball player, right? Yeah, he's a he was he's a also businessman. So at the time, was he a solid businessman with experience? Now it was Did he understand yeah. the financial um, industry? Right. Did right. he understand investments? Did he understand all of the legal stuff? Right. You know, or was he too busy doing his job playing ball? So, you know, not saying I'm defending him, but I understand that man, that mentality mm. because many of us have that. Right. Right. I mean, shoot, I got my best friend, he had a mother and a father. Mm. I only had a mother. Mm. His dad was one of the first common police court judges of Philadelphia. Totally different lifestyle, right? Yeah. But we were best friends, grew up together. Right. I ain't had it. And so, therefore, now, I mean, he's a he's a surgeon. Mm-hmm. I could never have had that journey, right? right? Going out of high school, going to Duke, majoring in biochemical engineering, going to Pitt, majoring in medicine. That wasn't even in my cards right. at all. So I say that because we don't know what was Scotty Pippen's cards. Like I know they had like there. To be fair, he has. I don't think they. I don't think he's had the documentary. If he has, I apologize, Scotty. I ain't seen it. But I don't think he's had that documentary. The yeah, way but Jordan why? Had but it. why? Why aren't people? But I feel like that's. I feel like that's a him thing. Jordan got his out there clear as day. But I mean, but why aren't people coming to him? Why aren't they approaching him? And if they are, then he may have his ways of communicating. It's just not at the same level of emotional intelligence needed to be able to do the things that the industry wants to do because he sees it his way and that goes back to how has he been trained well i mean if he sees something his way and he wants to have a documentary out there he got in the oh I, i'm sorry i do, i don't i don't like counting people's pockets but i'd like to assume he got enough money to create his own documentary 
Like Scotty, if you want, bro, you can hire me. I, I'll I, I'll do it real. Hey, I, we, we talk about finances later, but I promise you, we'll get a quality job done. And I, I'll I'll even say screw Michael. Like, go ahead. I promise you. I don't. Not to go but ahead. he may not even want that smoke, right? Because when you put yourself out there like that, something's coming back. Yeah, but you're telling your story though. Like, I'd rather him tell his story, his side of the story. Maybe get your ready. story out there. Well, I, I, I guess could have told her story a lot earlier. Okay. She waited. Okay. To I a mean, lot of those people were dead. But see, if you wait, though, I mean, but if you wait too long, like, like, I wonder how that's going. I feel like you're penting up so much, and if you don't let it out, like, I, you feel that way. Well, I, I'm, I'm, wor- I'm worried about that because again, to me, he's not the most mentally. <laughs> I'm not trying to say stable person, but like, he's not the most like strong. He's not that. He's not that strong minded type of guy. Like he cool, but like I I can see something like his ex wife marrying Jordan's kid, like it Call, just, causing a snap. Yeah, just because it's Jordan. It cause just, I, I'd be a little tight. I'd, I'd be a little pissed. Cause like, anybody. I'd be a little hurt. This is real. He's like, a, he's living his life. Yeah, this is real stuff. But that's what I'm saying. I'm worried about it because like it's no it's no knock to him. If, if, if this happened to anybody, you're you're drinking for the rest of the weekend like, gladly, and then repeating for the next couple months. Like it's a bad time. He may have the problem. If, yeah. if you see it, other people see it. That's fair. That's and fair. if other people see it, I mean, he's got friends and family. That's fair. That's who've fair. Been around him his entire life. Well, we know him better than the media. And you know, his boys he grew up with that can step to him and be like, yo, you know, and 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 and, and had that kind of chat. And so, hopefully. yeah, I mean, he got people. Hopefully, he got a strong foundation. And back to the, to you know what I'm saying? Show. Yeah, I was about to say, hopefully he had a strong. Well, it was still all on the show. It was yeah, all, true. yeah, I was about to say, it was all, it was, we, we was really about to hit the flowers part. We did. So that's all, so, 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 I mean, on end at the flowers part, I mean, so we was about done, but then we kind of did an extra lap or two. So I apologize for that again, ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for that. No, we don't. Apologize. This is living life. This is what we do. This is your show and my <laughs> show. So, you know, we can edit it however we want to edit it. Oh, this was dope. But, you know, this was timely and we were talking about, you know, Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Then we started talking about, you know, celebrities mm-hmm. and what they go through. And uh, then we start. I think I'm the one that brought up the, the, the Jordan and the Pippen piece, and I don't really know that much about it, other than you know, the fact that something's going on. And yeah. you seem to know more about it than I do. Just love it. Just so love you it. took just it and ran it. with it, <laughs> and now we all up in Scotty Pippen's head. Yeah, I mean Jordan may be the one that needs to go get help. You never know. Oh, man. But hey, hey, maybe though, because he he's ultra competitive. It seems like he don't sleep. I know that whole him selling the Hornets thing. Now, I don't know. He, I don't think he just I mean, stole the, the Hornets. Suppose Jordan said to his son, "Don't marry that girl." Like I, last year, or six months ago, or even three weeks ago, and then all of a sudden, boom, Dad, I'm doing what I want to do. I could see. <laughs> I could see the alternative though. I could see Jordan being a little petty and being like, "You know what? I just kind of want to play with Scott." No, you don't get. <laughs> I don't mind you. I don't know Joy. I do not know MJ for Adam. So please do not think that I'm reporting anything. You don't get to use. I'm just saying. To do that. I can see bro being a little petty. Then on the golf course, being seen as Scotty, be like, Scotty. No. I see we got that separate. <laughs> you throwing shade now. See, we're trying to take the energy of our community and our people in a more different direction than just selling ratings. And, and and doing the things that people expect, right? Right. You know, and so to that end, it gives Jordan and Pippen an opportunity to show the community and the world, you know, how to be a good leader. Yeah. You know, and, and how they show their children how they are going to represent in this time. Yeah. And so as leaders, because they are leaders, they lead by example. Yeah. So my my curiosity would be, what example are they going to set right now? Oh, Scotty can make some. Yeah, yeah. Scotty can make out like a bandit in this situation. It's looking grim early on, but I mean, plays his cards right. After the fact, they might they could divorce. Who knows? Divorce rates are quite high. I'm not wishing that upon nobody. Knock on wood. But like, so he's got to live his life. In but this day. is going to be psychoanalyzed by everybody, especially in the hip hop community. Oh yeah. And the question is, you know, what would we really like to see in terms of positive come out of this? 
I want everybody to be happy. So whatever it takes for so happy. exactly. I want both. I, I, I may. I want Scotty to be happy. So whatever that need, whatever he needs from that, as long as it doesn't deter from um, from, from Marcus and 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 the soon to be Mrs. Jordan. Like that's what I'm hoping for, honestly. Because like I said, it's all fun and games. It sounds cool. There's nice taglines and everything. But like, I just want to be happy. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not. A, I mean, day lives are not affecting our day to day outside of just not us talking at about all. it. I mean, I often have conversations with people. The folks that are sitting there in the field, on the court, in the game, are not necessarily worried about all the spectators. Spectators are yelling at the TV, mm -hmm. yelling at the floor, yelling at the jumbotron, getting all upset. And all of that yelling has no impact whatsoever on the next shot <laughs> or the next throw mm -hmm. or the next catch. It's just life, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to that extent, it's all entertainment. Until it's not. Exactly. Exactly. You know? All right. I'm about to say, that sounds like a good way to end the show right there. It's I don't know. All entertainment it. until it's not. Exactly. Because <laughs> when it's not, it's actually living life. That's a quality one. That's a quality one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but listen, thank you all for listening. Hope you all enjoyed it so far. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. Uh, my name is Trey. And as you heard earlier, this is Reggie. And, uh, you know, we're just on. Uh, just living life. That's what <laughs> that's what we on today. So hope you all enjoyed it. Take care. Yo yo. Yo yo.